For every 100,000 children born in South Africa, about 300 of them will not get to go home and experience family, embrace nature, or become enchanted with our starry universe. Stillbirths are traumatic and tragic, and worst of all is that about 40% of them are preventable given adequate antenatal care. The stillbirth phenomenon strikes South Africa's rural communities the hardest. According to the Health Systems Trust District's health barometer, the rate of stillbirths indicates problems with care during a woman's final months of pregnancy and during labor. Access to resources as well as proper skills training and quality assurance is the key to better maternal care and technology could help bridge this gap. Mukta, in an ongoing effort to make healthcare accessible, you've now created the GEV scan. What is it and how exactly does it work? GEV scan is actually built based on a concept called health imagination. That's an initiative within GE Healthcare. And um, uh, with that initiative, GE's mission is to increase the access for important technologies that reduces cost and improve the quality of, uh, of care. The V-Scan is, um, is being used for obstetrics uh, and because of the features of the V-Scan being a portable system, battery operated, it can fit into all hospital settings. So for primary care and for maternal uh, care, it is the best fit in all different settings when we're talking about a hospital setting or a, a primary care unit in a rural area. To date, how has the technology been received by doctors and other healthcare professionals? Actually, because of the features of V-Scan, having it as a small size, battery operated and so on, so it is very, very well accepted by all uh, healthcare providers. With high image quality and the ability to collate a patient's data from a number of exams, the V-Scan device can help speed up diagnostic decision making and subsequently reduce doctor visits. This could help women save money and prioritize contact with their doctors through to full term. For many communities in Africa, which are far flung from costly medical institutions, the portable device brings hope. How is this device built to withstand lack of resources in rural communities, such as lack of electricity, for example? Yeah, we know about the situation in the different places, especially when we're talking about rural area, the availability of energy. And that's uh, the reason the V-Scan is battery operated. The battery lasts for one complete hour scanning. That, is, that means around 30 patients are uh, to be scanned within the same battery. The battery and the V-Scan can be connected to a docking, docking station so it can be charged uh, afterwards and, and do a second round of scanning. Ultrasound machines are also used to detect suspicious masses, breast lumps or abnormalities which cause pain and infertility. So not only mothers, but all women benefit from accessible technology. What communities across Africa have already benefited from this device and how? It is a best fit in most of the communities in rural areas in Africa. And we already have uh, some projects in different countries in Africa, like in Kenya, in Tanzania, in Ethiopia, in Nigeria, Ghana and South Africa as well. The plan is to uh, make as much as we can from patients to be scanned uh, before delivery. And uh, the standards is to have four uh, different visits. And uh, that's what we're trying to do, providing that technology into rural area and into a dispensary or a health center that will make sure that the pregnant women are being scanned before they are referred or before, before the delivery. The Ministry of Health aims to bring infant deaths down and is targeting the United Nations recommended 38 per 100,000 live births. Placing this kind of technology in the hands of passionate healthcare professionals could help save thousands of potential engineers, scientists and artists who could go on to save the world.